Hi there. I'm Randy from Madrona Labs, here to bring you a sneak preview of our new soft synth Kaivo. If you're familiar with our other soft synth Alto, you can see that Kaivo here bears a real family resemblance. Like Alto, it's got a vector based UI that's fully resizable. And it's all on a single page with this user friendly patcher in the middle that I really want to encourage your sonic exploration with. Um, Kaivo is based on physical modeling which is to say uh, it makes sounds by solving differential equations that describe vibrating objects in real time. Uh, this can make really realistic sounds, but it can also be used in a really abstract way for exploration. Kaivo takes some of the latest research in this area and puts it into what I think is a really user-friendly format. You can see the main flow of sounds in Kaivo down here. There's a 2D granulator, which is kind of a new thing, followed by the low-pass gate module, like Alto's, uh, resonators for each voice, and finally a 2D resonating body. If we bring up the volume, the gate will let the granulator through, and it sounds like this. So this is generating a lot of grains, about 300 per second. And it's got a kind of a robotic quality because they're all at the same rate in the same place. So if we add some noise, we can let a little more of the natural quality of the sound through. Because of all the spatial stuff going on in Kaivo, it makes sense to add this 2D LFO here that repeatedly draws different functions and sends them out um, the X and the Y outputs. So we can use the X output to scrub through this sample. Time before sunset, birds come to stalk or scurry along the sandbar. Sometime before sunset, birds come. Now we can hook the Y output of the LFO up to the channel or the Y input of the sample. Up here is a sample of white noise, and down below is Paul Bowles reading a poem. So you can hear now, if we hook this up, it's more like the poem here, then as the Y function peaks, it goes to the noise sample. So. It's, you can have up to four samples in here, and it's easy to see how, with a sound plane or another 2D controller, you could really have a lot of fun playing around in a 2D map of samples. Some other functions in the LFO are here, and they let you create different kinds of trajectories through the sample. Now, there's one of these for each voice, so you can hook the output of the vox from the key module up here to the rate, and we can now increase the number of voices. You can almost follow along as each of these dots in the 2D LFO controls a separate voice of the sample here. And in addition, kind of like little fireflies down here, you can see the outputs um, of the granulator and where they're currently positioned. So now moving on to the resonator, you can hear how the resonator sounds with the granulator triggering it. You can set the pitch of the resonator through both an exponential input and also through a linear one to get frequency modulation. You can also set the position where the excited or the resonator is excited and uh, different parameters also that affect the sound. So the wet and dry inputs from the resonator both go now into the body. There's one body for all of the voices in Kaibo kind of like a guitar body that's shared by all the strings. This body is a true 2D waveguide mesh, which offers many, many possibilities for sonic exploration. Uh, with this menu, you can pick the basic model that is used for the body. There'll be a few different body models here when Kaivo is released and more added as newer versions come out. Each model has its own kind of non-linear parameter. It's controlled by this flavor dial here. And here we're running a model of a metal plate. So let's listen to that.
can hear the very lively stereo image that comes from different waves reaching these two virtual pickups at different times. Since this is a true 2D model, you'll be able to control where on the body the input goes by hooking it up to the 2D LFO, for example. And you can do this for each voice separately. With the body at a fixed pitch, you can really make it sound like acoustic things. But by varying the pitch smoothly, you have access to a whole world of sonic exploration. Kaibo is a deep well of sounds. It combines the natural qualities of vibrating objects with a huge potential for experimentation. It's going to be available this fall. Stay tuned to the Madrona Lab site for details. Thanks for listening.